find the length of segment RS in the diagram that's been provided. Is it A, 2.98? Is it B, 6.58? Is it C, 12.49? Or is it D, 20.49? Well, we have the circle and the segments that are connected, both inside and outside of the circle, are secants and tangents. And when we're finding lengths of segments with secants and tangents, we're going to be using the general formula outer times whole segment is equal to outer times whole segment. So when we look at our Q, we have 16 is the outer and it's also the entire thing. So we have 16 times 16 or 16 squared, you could write it either way, is equal to the outside RS, which is X times the whole thing, which is RT, and the algebraic expression for that would be X plus eight. Now let's use the distributive property to distribute the X through on the right and we would get X squared plus eight X and when we square 16 or multiply it by itself, we end up getting 256. And now we have a quadratic. And in order to solve a quadratic, we need to get all of the terms to one side. So we're going to subtract the 256 to move it over. And we'll get that 0 is equal to x squared plus 8x minus 256. Now, are there factors of negative 256 that add up to positive 8? Unfortunately, there are not. So we need to use the quadratic formula to finish solving this problem. So we have x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 256 all over 2 times 1. So then that's going to simplify to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 64 minus negative, so that becomes a plus. So 64 plus 1024, which is going to give us 1088, and then all over 2. And now the factors of 1088 are 64 and 17, so we can square root both of those. So then the square root of 1,088 rationalizes to be 8 square root of 17 over 2, and then we can divide both of these terms by 2 and get negative 4 plus or minus Four, square root of 17 and then if we think about it negative 4 plus 4 square root of 17 will give us a positive number and negative 4 minus 4 root 17 will give us a negative answer and since this is a side length we're only going to be finding the positive value so it'll be negative 4 plus 4 square root of 17 and when we put that into a calculator it ends up equaling approximately 12 point four nine or answer choice C.